Nike is making a big push into Web3 with a new platform called Dot Swoosh. Yahoo Finance's Josh Schaefer is here with more on this. Josh, this is an interesting project. A couple of reasons. There, there seems to be a physical element, at least on the back end, right. but they really want to open the aperture and speak to the masses somewhat here. Yeah. Fascinating. Definitely, Dave. So kind of look at what Dot Swoosh is supposed to be here. So it's a Web3 enabled platform and it's meant to be a digital community akin to a lot of Nike's other shoe communities, right? And so things you can do are basically co-create a virtual product maybe with a Nike shoe designer, and then you can sell it in the metaverse-ish, right? In the virtual world and earn royalties from that. And then eventually the thought is it can maybe turn into real life products. When you sort of zoom out about what Nike's doing here, guys, it's a bigger part of their brand digital strategy, right? That we've seen grow a lot. That segment grew for them 16% year over year last quarter. And that was what one of the analysts I talked to pointed to. You know, it's a big part of the digital growth. So David Swartz at Morningstar told me earlier today, he said the move makes sense given that there is already a big collector community for Nike shoes and its core customers are the demo that is likely to be early adopters of this kind. So he's sort of getting at the fact that shoe collectors are generally skewing younger, right? We're talking Gen Z, younger millennials that are currently Nike shoe collectors. They're maybe more likely to be interested in the metaverse per se, or some kind of Web3 play. Yeah, and Josh, I know it's very, very early in the game, but just from what we've heard over the last year, you mentioned the fact that they have been investing in the metaverse for several months at this point, the interest so far. What does that tell us just about how big of a priority this could potentially be for Nike down the road? Right, and we should note that the head of this project, Shauna, is Ron Ferris, who headed Nike's sneakers app, and that's their big collector's app that's grown over the years. And so when they put a big name like that in front of a project, that means they want it to work out, right? And I think what Nike's looking to do here is as the metaverse grows, as those apps grow, <laughs> the characters have to wear some kind of clothes, right? And they want them to be wearing Nike shoes like they wear in the real world. Nike dominates the sneaker space for the most part. Dave and I are both wearing Nikes right now. I'm just taking a peek <laughs> at you. And I think that they want that to be a part of what happens in the metaverse and in Web3. One other interesting thing I wanted to point to here, Rochelle, is they mentioned, they didn't mention the metaverse once in the release. I think that's interesting that they don't really want to use that rhetoric when talking about the project. I mean, we, we did hear one guest calling it, you know, cringe to talk about the metaverse, saying things are better these days. We did see that Nike told Complex, though, that Nike's going to be prioritizing Web3 education with this six city tour. So really bringing the, the education part of it so people actually can understand it before they start selling things virtually. How important do you think that is so that people actually get an understanding of what they're getting into? Well, it's big, Rochelle, because as we know, knowledge of the metaverse and Web3 and things like that, and even those words, as you just mentioned, kind of scare some people away, right? But Nike's shoe collector community is huge. So I think what you're going to see is them trying to merge those two things and bring in someone that maybe collects shoes but isn't familiar with the metaverse, isn't familiar with Web3, but is a collector at its core. And it, this might have utility, Rochelle, too, which is the big thing, right? If it turns into a physical product eventually and becomes you create these shoes online, and then maybe you can buy them in real life or you can go to a real experience or your player on NBA 2K can wear those shoes. That's where these projects tend to make a lot of sense. And that's where it seems like Nike wants to go. You got me with that. That's what intrigued me the mm. most, the possibility down the road that I could actually, well, I wouldn't wear the shoes I designed because I got no skills, right. but I might wear the ones you designed. Josh Schaefer, <laughs> good to see you, man. Thank you. Interesting stuff.